In 24 hours, the government was defeated three times, we had legal opinions flying all over the place, and Nigel Farage resigned his membership of UKIP. The Advocate General of the European Court of Justice issued his opinion, which was that Britain uh, is allowed to revoke its Article 50 notice of intention to withdraw from the EU and to stay. Then the government was defeated by the narrowest of margins, just four votes in it, uh, as MPs voted on the government's attempt to avoid being told off by MPs uh, for refusing to publish the legal advice that it had received on its Brexit deal. The eyes to the right, 311. The nose to the left, 293. So the eyes have it. After that, the government was defeated again 15 minutes later on the main motion tabled by Jeremy Corbyn, the leader of the opposition, condemning the government for contempt of parliament. The eyes to the right, 307. The nose to the left, 311. Yay! A few hours later, the government was defeated again by 22 votes this time, a substantial defeat as a number of Tory MPs voted against the government, allowing Parliament much more control over the process over the next few days and weeks. The eyes to the right, 321. The nose to the left, 299. Finally, the Prime Minister got to her feet in the House of Commons and delivered her speech opening the Brexit debate that will go on for the next four days at the start of five days of debate that will set the course our country takes for decades to come, it is worth taking a moment to reflect on how we got here. When the... The Honourable Lady has lost in the European Court, and today the Honourable Lady has lost in this House. I hope the Honourable Lady will not compound that by opposing a Section 30 for Scotland when the Scottish Government wants it, and she should respect the democracy she's talking about. It applies to Scotland too. Over the next few days, Parliament is going to be debating the Brexit deal in depth before the big votes when MPs have to decide whether they approve or not. In the middle of all this, news came in that Nigel Farage, the man who changed British politics, founded UKIP, led it to victory in European elections and forced the government to hold a referendum, had resigned his membership of the party. With very great reluctance, I have, as of now, resigned my membership of UKIP, cancelled my standing order at the bank. I'm no longer a member of UKIP.